this is Stan. I'm coming to you from Drupal Camp NYC, otherwise known as Nice Camp, and I'm here with Forrest Mars. Noted twig expert, I would have to say, wouldn't you? No, not really. No, why, and why not? No, not really. I think there's, there's a lot of people that have been working on this big project, and certainly, you know, I, I, need, I need many hands to count the people in Drupal that are working on Twig that know, you know ten times as much as I do about it. Um, but the great thing about the Twig project is that's what's going on to build Twig into Drupal, right? To port Drupal to the Twig uh, uh, to engine. However, to use the Twig framework in Drupal, you don't need to have such a necessarily high level of expertise. In fact, the whole point of it is to take out a lot of the deep, deep knowledge and the ambiguities and, prevent, and, and present a simplified theming layer to those end users, developers, and members. So, I guess you gave us a good explanation. Say for someone who is a, a non-technical person, what is Twig? Why, is it, why should we invest time in, in worrying about it? Okay, so Twig is a clean templating engine um, that replaces the old so-called uh, template engine, which is, which is a kind of template engine, but it's a, a giant, it's PHP in your theme layer. It's all of PHP in the theme layer doing anything that PHP can do. Whereas in Twig, it's truly, it's truly just designed for presentation layer stuff. And it's very clean syntax. It's, a, it's very, very fast. It's, and most of all, it's object-oriented, right? So your templates, you can extend them in an object-oriented fashion. You are a big part of the Twigify and the Twigifier modules and the projects, which are in sandbox status right now, both of them, right? Yeah, they're currently still, still in sandbox. And so give us a quick, brief rundown. What are these things? Okay, so Twigify Drupal is um, a module which um, there's two modules, which is a Twigify and Twigify. Right now, Twigify is the main module, and it automatically converts Drupal themes from PHP template, Drupal 7 themes, to Drupal 8 Twig themes. It does this automatically. Um, now, ultimately, where we're going with this is that the Twigify module presents a site, a site audit, a view on your site to audit your site comprehensively across the entire theme layer and across any theming functions that are buried in your modules and give you a nice view on everything you need to do to migrate your site to Twig. Now, why do we want to do that? We want to do that because we want to do that as part of a, a larger migration strategy for anyone to be able to say, here's my Drupal 7 site or here's all of my Drupal 7 sites. What do I have to do to get them to Drupal 8? We want to present a nice view inside the site itself that does a complete audit and says, well, here's all the steps that you need to go through. Then. The steps that can be automated, we automate those with the Twigifier module, and that runs automatic conversions. Then the steps that can't be automated, for example, things in, in a template that are extremely custom or maybe off the rails and not up to coding centers, these sorts of things, we capture those in comments, we put those off to the side, and then we produce an audit report that says, here's what you have left to do that can't be automated. Right? So this now gives you a view into everything. So if you just have one site, now you know what's left. If you have a number of sites, if you're maintaining sites for others, or you're internally, you have a large corporation with many, many sites, now you have some kind of view, you got some kind of number, you can get a sense of what's going to be involved to move all of your sites from Drupal 7 to Drupal 8. And this is part of a large migration strategy that gets you basically an 80% lift for free, so you can focus on the 20%, or bring in some experts that can help you get that last 20%. It's incredible. So, I'm assuming you need some help from the community with this. Well, the next step, yes, absolutely. The next step is for base themes, so specifically deri based, uh, derivative themes, based um, off themes such as Mothership, Zen, Adaptive Theme, and Omega, and others. Uh, it doesn't Twigify doesn't quite work because there are, there are customized versions of themes that are designed to be extendable in derivative themes. So a lot of what goes on there in a conversion, it has to be commented out and wrapped into Twig comments. So what we're looking for next is we're getting together a buff here at Nice Camp, and then we're looking forward from Nice Camp to the DrupalCon in Prague um, for all of the maintainers of base themes and people who are highly involved with base themes or just really good at base themes to get together to look at the output from Twig, uh, Twigifier and all these base themes, and together we're putting together, uh, we kind of have a plan for already, but we want to involve the whole community on a plan to create an API that provides a exception rule set so that every base theme can ship with a list of handlers. So here's all the things that Twigify didn't understand. Here's, oh, here's how you handle it for this base theme. What this means is then Twigify will be able to convert 
any derivative theme over. So if you have themes that run on Omega, if you have themes that run in Zen, all these themes will be automatically con converted. So the first step is we, we run the conversions, we look at the output, we share the output with the maintainers with base themes, we get together for a buff, we make sure that the API as we envision it is going to really work for these purposes, and then we sprint really, really hard to release the next version of Twigifier or Twigify that converts any derivative theme to Twig for Drupal. So, one last question is, um, so you work for, the name of your company is? Elephant Ventures. Elephant Ventures, and you guys are a, a big part of this Twig. Um, yeah, so, so right. yes, because we looked at, we looked at the problem um, of migrations, and we looked at the problem of maintenance and upgrades, and we looked at both the cost and the manageability, and also the sense of knowing what that is. Because for, in many cases, you just don't know. You have no idea whether it's going to be easy or hard, whether it's going to be quick or involved, it's going to take a lot of time, it's going to cost. So the first step is to just get a sense of what's going to be involved. And the second step is to find a way to do that heavy lifting, because it doesn't make any sense to, have, to just try to scale out in people to do all the work. It makes a lot more sense to develop a tool that can automatically do this work for you, and like I said, give you that 80% for nothing so then you can focus on just the reading 20% and not have everybody reinventing the 80% off on their own. All right, well, it sounds really good. Thanks a lot for your time. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate it. Yeah, and uh, thanks a lot for you for watching and coming back for more.